let's talk about hip hop as a whole. Okay. Um, the industry lost two of, two of the greats, Pac and Big. Um, we've lost plenty more after that. We, we, mm -hmm. Rappers today, um, when Pac and Big died, that was a uh, a, a boost situation mm -hmm. that turned ugly. Now artists are losing their lives because of their lack of health. Mm. How important is your health when you're performing on that stage and how important is it for you to eat right, to drink right when you're on that tour bus to ensure that you can do this for a long period of time? Well, I'm so happy that you asked me that question because I told somebody I was coming to speak with you today and they told me to mention that. Um, in the last two months, actually two and a half months, I just lost 33 pounds. Wow. So, and what I, what I realized, because the state of mind that I had before, you know, a lot of people kind of walk around this earth, they be like, Shh, you don't know when you're going to leave anyway, so I'm going to do what I want, I'm going to live what I want. But I had to have a shift in my consciousness. And, and when I say that, what I mean is that if I'm going to be here, I need to be at my fullest potential. Right. Our health of it is of the utmost importance. And what, what happens is with, um, specifically in our community, there's such an onset of diabetes, heart conditions, cancers, all of these things that really can be prevented if we're able to uh, shift our diets and really kind of shift our mental state because it has, it almost has less to do with um, the decision to start working out than it has to do with the decision to change our mind, right? right? So once we change our mind and understand that, like, look, we really have the ability to uh, change our circumstance. And it all starts with us being able to say, okay, look, um, I need to do 25 minutes a day working out. If that, mm -hmm. go for a walk, uh, get, your, get your wind back up, uh, become stronger, because as we build our bodies up and, uh, and become more healthy, uh, it just makes you feel better, and then you can be more active and more productive. I know what, when I, I started realizing, probably like a month into, the, uh, into my change, into my workout and everything, I did a show like that, I think it was in July at, um, at the Silver Room, the Silver Room block party. And man, uh, something happened when my time got cut short. Mm -hmm. So it was supposed to be a 30 minute set, it went to like 20 minutes or something like that. But after the 10th minute while I was up there, I could feel like a resurgence of energy. You know what I mean? Like when you, you got that second wind. You got that second wind. Like I got that second wind. I could go on for like another 30 minutes. It's amazing, man. So really just to answer your question in short, man, our mental health and our physical health is of the utmost importance because we need to be at our fullest potential. And that's the best way so to do that. Now, we know that the leading songs they get promoted on top 40 records right, are songs about money, mm -hmm. sex, right, drugs, right, and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Your most leading alcohol seller in hip hop is what? Ciroc. Ciroc. Hennessy. Hennessy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, most artists are rapping about the weed smoke, the pills, mm -hmm. and all this. How damaging is this? Now, same thing, you're making money off mm -hmm. these type of records, but at the same time, how damaging is it internally when you can't do an hour-long set or you're in the booth, right? And you can't get that last, you no know, ad-lib out or that last verse out or you're getting tired easily or you're dragging all the time. How, the one way you're profiting, but in, in, in the same instance, it's, it's almost like you're hurting yourself at the same time. Brother, I, I really appreciate this conversation because these are the things that need to be addressed just from a perspective of who we are as human beings. See, we are what we feed ourselves. So this comes down to what we feed ourselves, what we ingest through our mouths, and what we ingest through our minds. So yeah, a lot of times, I mean, the radio is a powerful tool. So, and we can make the choice to, to listen to whatever we want to listen to. So a lot of times if we're listening to this crap that's on the radio, subconsciously it's feeding us. And guess what, our subconscious doesn't know what's happening in that moment. Whatever it takes us there, we're there. Our subconscious is there and it affects us. So that extra toke, that extra drink, I'm not putting down anybody who does that, you know what I'm saying? I've had a drink in my life, you know what I'm saying? I've done some other things, uh, but at a, there comes a point in time where look, your, uh, your health is what becomes a priority, your family is what becomes a priority. And then those are things that we have to move towards, becoming better, stronger, and greater human beings and individuals.